The feedback has been overwhelmingly positive that we're providing excellent patient care. With Verdugo Hills joining USC, we were able to have the best of both worlds. A community hospital has personal touch, just like you would find in your own home, but an academic center brings centers of excellence and high-end specialty care. Partnering with uh, the academic side, which would be the Norris Cancer um, Hospital, is uh, tremendously valuable because we can be flexible. If there are clinical trials or um, uh, resources that are provided through the main cancer hospital, if it's something um, like the surgery or the medical oncology, we can bring that more locally um, to the patient and they can stay closer to home. So we're kind of taking the, the, the good from both places and blending it into their care and rounding out that patient's experience. 3D Tomo technology is an excellent diagnostic tool for imaging the breast. It's helpful in that it finds smaller uh, cancers that weren't readily defined. Um, and what it's doing is capturing a series of slices through the breast rather than just one static image compared to the 2D technology. USC brought to this community hospital this technology. And now, we, a few weeks ago, we reached uh, 500 cases robotically. And we have patients that come all over the United States and come from outside of the United States to have surgery at our, at our hospital here. And it's very important because we brought from USC all the faculty, we brought the experience, and now we have the technology and we're doing all the kind of complex cases we're doing here in Verdugo Hills. I was admitted to USC Verdugo Hills Hospital, uh, first at the emergency room and then transferred up immediately to the intensive care unit um, here. Uh, through a number of tests, I was diagnosed with a, a severe case of pancreatitis, which um, causes, frankly, multiple organ failure. The decision was made to actually uh, transfer me down by ambulance to USC Keck, where I could get um, specialized care from a number of doctors uh, in, in a variety, a variety of fields. That includes um, uh, physical therapy, included occupational therapy, and also uh, vocal, vocal therapy. So whether a patient is recovering from a total joint replacement surgery where they require physical and occupational therapy services, or speech therapy after a stroke, or even cardiac rehabilitation after a heart attack, we cannot underestimate the importance of rehabilitation after an acute injury or illness. So our physical medicine and rehabilitation department here at USC Verdugo Hills Hospital offers comprehensive physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech language pathology services. Our focus is to restore patients' functions and improve their overall quality of life and well-being. USC Verdugo Hills has received designations of excellence in many different fields. We're a primary stroke center. We've received a designation of excellence in orthopedic care, and a transitional care unit has received accolades from the U.S. News and World Report as being one of the top transitional care units in all of Los Angeles County. A transitional care unit is where we take care of people who are not quite ready to go home after hospitalization. So what we do is we help with strengthening exercises or we can help finish treatments that they began in the hospital in preparation for them to go home in the very best state of health possible. I had open heart surgery and I came here for the rehab so that I could manipulate a little bit better at home. At home I have six stairs and today I was able to go up six stairs and back down. So the, the way we, we uh, approach these episodes of care for hip and knee replacement is, is somewhat revolutionary. It is uh, more of a collaborative effort where the whole team is involved in decision making uh, in the process from the time the patient first comes in, goes through surgery, goes through rehab, and really for the rest of their lives. This type of a program involves the patient from the beginning to end uh, to be part of that process. So and they actually come to a joint class and they learn about what to expect. There's other things uh, outside of just the medicine that they become a part of to really enhance their experience. Uh, but if you've got a whole team approach like this and the patients feel like they're the center and they're part of the team, uh, it, it really is a benefit to them. The journey for USC for Diego Hills Hospital is being part of a bigger system 
and being part of Keck Medicine. And we've put in over $40 million worth of capital investments, whether that is, is upgrades in our emergency department or the introduction to a needle, neonatal intensive care unit or the renovation of our labor and delivery area. On the day that Scout was born, it was really um, horrifying in some ways and um, hard, but we were really comforted to know that we had the facilities here and I wouldn't have to go to another hospital to visit her. EDAP means Emergency Department Approved for Pediatrics. And this is a special designation from the Los Angeles County Emergency Medical Services that designates us as a emergency department that can provide specialized care for children. Children are not just small adults, they have very specialized needs for assessments and for treatments. And so being an EDAP certified emergency department means that we have the tools, the resources, the education and training to care for the smallest people. We came up here to Verdugo Hills Hospital and um, immediately it was just taken so differently than it was at urgent care. We met Dr. Tashman within about 10 minutes of coming here and Dr. Tashman examined Tyler and in a very short amount of time said, you know, I, I think your son might have meningitis. The direct and swift access to uh, medical care as well as the medical specialties and all of the doctors, first here at Verdugo Hills Hospital and then at USC Keck, um, saved my life. Unequivocally, beyond a shadow of a doubt, I, I have complete faith and knowledge that this hospital saved his life with certainty. The culture that we've built is that tight fit community, family environment, and it really, really rubs off ultimately to our patients, community members that have experienced our emergency room, have experienced our labor and delivery, or have been most critically ill potentially in our intensive care unit. And the feedback is overwhelmingly positive from our community with all the changes that we've been making uh, throughout the hospital.